Okay, third freaking time trying to make this video. Okay, <laughs> hey guys, he's here with another video. Today, I'm just doing something hopefully really short, especially since I've gone over it like two other freaking times now. And disconnected. Well done, Havo. You're already failing me. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, let me explain while it's carelessly rebooting me. Okay. I tried to record this video like two different times now. What we're going to do with this video, if I can help it, finally, is test out the new Habbo Hotel beta. Right, I'm going to see the difference between the old one, which everyone's pretty used to. Okay, like, look at all this. 2019. Look at all this. We're going to see what's different. Like, in all of this... This is all nice. In fact, where's the, you know, the favorite rooms? Oh, look at that. I can see right down here what friends are on. I'm going to go into what you stay still. Damn. I'm going to go here. I'm going to keep the IP. Alright, here's. This is one of the rooms of my music account. You know, it's like a home base character for the music I make on my one character. You see, on the old one, everything works. You've got the music that works. You have the fucking mood light that works. You've got all this. And I think this, like, console command thing works on the new one too. And you can get transported to exclusive, but you can only do this if you're a member of the VIP. And you just get teleported over here, but that's okay because then you can easily exit out if you wanted to. Right, what's holding him back? Oh, right. <laughs> because I have these up there. Pretty cool club, you know. I I did what I could with it last night beforehand. Alright, now using dead base. And I'm gonna test I'm gonna do all this with the beta. I'm gonna switch to a character. I'm going to go into a completely different room, and then switch to that one. And, you know, test out all those little features again. And I'm going to show you how all of this is much different from the original side. Like, the beta is going into... It's a beta. It's completely different from the original. And... <laughs> even after two times of making this fucking video, and being on third time's the charm, I still don't know how the fuck I feel about it. <laughs> I'm torn. I'm either thinking, like, you know, I like it or I don't like it. My final verdict is always, it's not good, but it's not bad, which doesn't say a lot. Switch avatar. Now, one thing I find kind of cool about this, you can switch to any character that looks like they're level 1, but they're automatically going to gonna be completely different. Let me see what Karen levels up to after being put in the beta. Now, each character has their own, like, sort of weird leveling system, you know? You, it, they look like they started out as level 1, but then you put them in there, you still have all your achievements and everything going in, you have all those rewards, you don't lose any of them going in, you know, you have you have all of that. And I think that's, like, something special in itself. It's nice to have. Like, see, she automatically goes up to level 4, which is, is good, because, you know, I haven't done a damn thing with her. <laughs> so she's got all that down packed. It's into the, and the vault bullshit. What's all new? Blah blah blah. Okay, yeah, got all that done. Yep. 
<laughs> you fucking bullshit. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I started typing, and it just automatically reconnected me like this. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, Havo, you have a lot to figure out with this whole beta thing. You really do. I like how that showed us ball before, so I have that there. And that just doesn't want to work. My, my Animal Crossing like place, if you couldn't tell. It's not, it's not bad. Like I said, it's not bad, but it's not good. There are a lot of flaws with it, but that's only because it's beta. I do like how in the old one things were much simpler. Alright, stop trying to show me tutorial stuff. I don't care. I really don't. Put little achievements down. I'm walking in. And Karens are so... They think they're socializers. They're so privileged, so they gotta have their BC down. Let's see if I can find the BC one. There it is. Have a citizen. I'm gonna ban you. I'm aware of everything. I'm gonna ban you. Let's try searching for a room. Let's see what we find. So let's go into a normal room. I did show you how, you know, all of that effectively went. Right, I can just, hold on, search. Dead beast. Find it. That will be a room in there. Seriously? Taunting me. Search by room name. Right, search by room owner. There's a room name description. How about that? There we It's interesting how you can search like that, though. See, there we go. We should find the one I'm looking for in here. I'm growing impatient. <laughs> I don't want to wait. Let's switch back to my other character. I hope it doesn't log us out again, because it's fucking stupid. Ah, here we are. In the beta, and the record and the, um, yeah, the recording studio again. About to enter... The club dead base. Or I should say, the boom box. I should still be able to go to the ideal room settings and be able to click on the name of the owner, which happens to be my one account, ironically enough. <laughs> I should load up with some gems. <laughs> Give myself some gems. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and then see the rooms. And club back base. Although, I'm thinking now of renaming it Club Subwoofer. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> I really I, I really don't know. But I'll favorite this. Ah, it goes by how many favorites it gets now? Instead of actual, like, leaving likes, it goes by favorites? Okay. That kind of, uh, like, that seems fair. As long as it doesn't, you know, try and limit how many favorites you can have now. That's, that, that was always dumb. I always found limiting the favorites to be dumb. But yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be called back base. It's my essential backup plan if my BC runs out on dead base and the boom box can no longer be entered by anybody and I have to test that theory in about three days or so <laughs> but I do like how when it's on that little sign that's when you can start picking things up but you also can't move around as much like see I'll try and move it out around over here and he's simply not gonna go but I click that again, go over here, give him a few seconds because it's slow for some reason. He goes over. Also, mind you, I'm I'm ticked off because this wall. I had this wall so perfectly right. I had everything nice and neat. And then the beta comes in and fucking fucks everything up. 
I don't know why I'm so triggered. I just am. <laughs> I got something funny I can do. There we go. The euro is born. <laughs> yes, that's seriously what I was trying to get to. Don't judge me. God damn it. There's the internet. Well, there goes the fucking video. Okay, um, I think since Havo has officially taken a shit on me again, because I think so many people are trying to get on and test this beta at once, you can test this out for yourself by going to Havo.com or don't, and don't give them credit where credit may or may not be due. <laughs> I don't know, I, I don't know my final verdict on this thing yet. Truth be told, I, I don't think I like it. I don't like it, but I don't hate it. Like, I would definitely play it for role play, or if they keep the trading system up, that would be great, and that would make things a lot better than what was originally planned, because apparently they were going to take that all away and essentially, you know, you know just for now, anyway, they were going to take that all away and essentially turn it into an RPG. Like, literally a role play game, not even, like, you know, get getting stuff or trading or doing any of that. Just doing away with that and forgetting everything it stood for. You know, it, it, it just being utter bullshit in the long run. That was something I was always debating on. You know, I, I was always strongly debating on that. And I see they haven't put any of the new tracks in yet or implemented it. Like, I know this is only a beta, I understand it. And they're going to have many, many, many more updates and installs and they're going to fix things and yada, 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 yada. But all in all, it's not bad, but it's not good. There's definitely a lot of changes that are impacting things that it shouldn't impact at all because that's ruining the game entirely. But then there's also things changing that improve the game under certain, certain circumstances. Like, they had this whole vault thing, and, you know, to back up with the earnings, and that's great. That's actually really great. It makes it so that things are a little bit easier to earn. But at the same time, the vault just completes it to make it bullshit, in a way. Because that makes it so there's a literal paywall behind it. And it does not, I repeat, it does not tell you how much you have to spend to get past that paywall. It tells you, when you buy a sufficient amount of credits with real money at once, your vault unlocks permanently. Doesn't tell you how many. Once you unlock it, all the credits in your vault become withdrawable without being taxed, and all of your future credits will go to your purse instead of vault. Again, I don't understand the purpose for the fucking vault. As far as I know of previously, before, you know, when they were talking about it, the vault makes it so, once you go past a certain amount of credits into your purse, it goes to your vault, and it doesn't get wasted. But at the same time, if you don't play this game religiously, if you're not pouring your heart, blood, and soul out into it, and you have a little bit of money to spend, you still don't know how much you have to spend to open that vault. It's telling you, yeah, deals that include the vault unlock are marked with a small unlock symbol. That's great, but once again, you go in, I mean, I didn't get very far because it keeps taking me out, but you get in and it, it does not tell you. It does not tell you or make it easy whatsoever to be able to find it. Because it says, you have to, you have to spend real credits. Okay, how do I go about doing that? Say, I'm trying to get the pearl necklace. The premium's under construction. So, as of right now, I think they're, they're definitely going to fix it in the future, I know them. You know, if they really want their fucking money. They don't tell you 
how much you have to spend or where to go to spend it. It doesn't make a lot of things clear. The beta, as of right now, I mean, granted, only dropped like last night or, you know, as of... The night of December 21st, actually right around midnight, that's when it dropped. So this is actually still pretty... It's the earliest stages of beta. And this is, I'm showing you, this is what you get in the earliest stages of beta. It's not good, it's not bad, it's not, it's not great, it's just, the beta right now is all over the place. That's the best way to pen it, is the beta is literally all over the place. It doesn't know what it wants to be. It doesn't want to be a fun game with a nice little fun layout. doesn't want to be a paywall system where you have lots of fun with but have to pay for doesn't want to be you know a, a socializing and creator it does not know what it wants to be I can understand if they came out and said something like oh yeah we're trying to be the most versatile game out there like that's fine I understand there are some games trying to do that too I just don't think this is it this is not what it's trying to be. Do I have my HD still? So I can walk in there. That'd be great. Ta! I can walk right through there. Because <laughs> of my HD. Anyway. But no, it's just like... All in all, I don't see this being a game that... Even with the beta out... That I'd play religiously. In fact, I think this new update, as far as it is right now, just proves it needs otherwise done to it. L like, play it less or don't, like, give it that much attention because it's just like. It's confused what it wants to be. It's obviously. It's desperate for money. It, it, it's desperate to sap in all the money it can get. And it has all these freaking paywalls, and then it wonders why people are upset and pissed off. Especially if they do remove that trading system for ever so long. It, it, it's. I understand from a developer standpoint, it's difficult to work around, and they need their money too, as well as, you know, we gotta make our in game money. But at the same time, it, it's not leaving their fans, their audience, their, it's not leaving them much choice in what to do. It's simply just not. It's taking out everything that they stand for, everything that their fans love, and it's just... <laughs> adds a fucking funny button. That's what it does. It adds a funny button. But it, that's another thing. It's What's the point of it? The funny button doesn't do shit. <laughs> it literally doesn't. What does it do? Oh, reconnect you. Or do some other stupid thing. I, I don't know. It's still not later. I know I'm sending mixed signals and I act like I don't know what I think about this, but that's just it. This game doesn't know what it thinks about itself, from what I can gather. That's the point. <sighs> like, the friends are harder to find, but at the same time, it's easier to see how much of HC or BC you have left, as well as having a place for all your credits to be stored. But oh yeah, that place has a paywall. And then once you get to the actual shop itself, it doesn't tell you how to breach that paywall for right now. As as of right now, it doesn't tell you how to breach the paywall. And I understand it's it is a slow process and it's the early stages yet. But another thing to hit on. The music isn't over yet, the room link doesn't work yet, it, it all doesn't work right, and it's stupid. And also, that's me for this time guys, please leave a like if you have enjoyed, 
Prepare to subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. I mean, you're not going to get many content like this. I, I know you're not going to get a lot of content like this. I wouldn't do Habbo. I just would not. I don't like recording this unless it's for like a really big reason. It's really not. <laughs> I do much more interesting content just like tonight. I'm planning on, well, tonight as of December 23rd. You'll probably already see the video by now. But I'm planning on doing like a strange Christmas special, and I was gonna actually do something like really special and make it really good. So that's coming up, and yeah, I don't, I don't know. I might do another like follow-up video if Hubble actually improves on the beta and actually makes it good. Like we'll see. I think we'll see after December 31st what exactly it has planned. As of the new year, it'll have the new things planned. But for now, comment down below what your thoughts are on it. I'm still pretty conflicted. I don't know. I'll still play it. Just not a lot. I'll still do things. Just not a lot of things. And overall, it's... It's weird right now. <laughs> to say the least, it's really weird right now. And I don't know where I genuinely stand on it. But remember, it's COVID, so keep your distance, wear your damn mask, and... Stay off the airlines, Junior. Pat.